unanswered prayer has manufactured doctrines of demons and destructive heresies in Africa. And I say unanswered prayer because it's not really unanswered prayer. It is prematurely assumed unanswered prayer. One of the fruit of the Holy Spirit is patience. Another one is long suffering. Essentially, God expects us once we get born again to wait and also wait while enduring evil patiently. So suffering is part and parcel of the Christian experience. It's littered all across the scriptures. There is no one that is exempt from it. All of us are guaranteed some kind of striving when we come to Christ because the world hates disciples. We've got to wait for answered prayer. Insofar as you're consecrated and you're not compromised, insofar as every so often you enter into a fast, insofar as you're basically biblical with your Christianity, you should receive what you ask for in prayer in due season. You should. The only thing that causes success against you to be cursed, according to the scriptures, is Balaam's error. Cursing those whom God has blessed is impossible unless they walk in compromise, unless they eat food sacrificed to idols, unless they partake in sexual immorality. So the only thing that can successfully get you cursed as a Christian is if you compromise, is if you are walking in so much flagrant sin that witches can get through to you. However, if you are consecrated, you cannot say that you are cursed because it's impossible according to God's word.